everybody. This is Marley Kay. I have a very important story for you. It is about a Chinese spy balloon spotted over the Western United States. So I saw this earlier and I thought I should bring it to you. It's originally posted on NPR. It came out today, a few hours ago. So the Pentagon says a suspected Chinese spy balloon has been spotted over the Western U.S. And this story is a huge deal because... Um, Canada and the Chinese Liberation Army have been doing um, military exercises together since 2020. So I'm going to bring you that story after this one, but let me share this with you so you can see how important it is. And as this whole global World War III scenario plays out, um, I just want you to see how vulnerable we are in this country and you know you can give or take you know whatever um my two cents or conjecture is i just don't see this as anything good for us and i know a lot of white people are always like oh people who have been in the military in general have so much faith in other white people and what they will and will not do. But one thing I know about Saxons is that they will stab you in your back. I'm sorry to say it, but I, I have experienced it personally. And the fact that United States white people trust Canadian white people and the Canadian white people trust the Chinese white people and and I hate to say Chinese white people, but in America, Chinese people are able to be called white. So as far as I'm concerned as a black person, all these white people are mixing up and they're frenemies. As an African-American person with no power, you know, I'm just looking at it and like, what the hell is going on? Why is it that these people are allegedly not our friends, Canadians are playing with them and then they're right across the border so close that they can slip spy, uh, spy balloons across the border. So it's just all interesting. But anyway, let's get into this story. Um, this came out at 6.08 p.m. Updated. The U.S. is tracking a suspected Chinese surveillance balloon that has been spotted over U.S. airspace for a couple of days, but the Pentagon decided not to shoot it down to risk of harm for people on the ground, officials said Thursday. So the damn thing is just floating around. They're not going to shoot it down, but they're just going to tell us about it in the news. A senior defense official told Pentagon reporters that the U.S. has very high confidence. It is a Chinese high altitude balloon and it had it was flying over sensitive sites to collect information. One of the places the balloon was spotted was Montana, which is home to one of the nation's three nuclear missile silos, silo fields at Malmstrom Air Force Base. <clears throat> Excuse me. The official spoke on the condition of anonymity to discuss sensitive information. Brigadier General Patrick Ryder, Pentagon press secretary, provided a brief statement on the issue, saying government, the government continues to track the balloon. He said it is currently traveling at an altitude well above commercial air traffic and does not present a military or physical threat to people on the ground. So let me show you something on the map. In case you don't know where Montana is, this is Montana. That is Canada. I don't know where these military bases are. That says Fort Benton. I don't know if there's some other forts or military bases any place around, but. It's just interesting that they have these military, these nuclear military silos in Montana and our government doesn't feel that the spy balloon is a threat. Pay attention, pay attention, pay attention. 
He said a similar balloon activity, he said similar balloon activity has been seen in the past several years. He added that the U.S. took steps to ensure it did not collect sensitive information, whatever that means. The defense official said the U.S. has engaged Chinese officials through multiple channels and communicated the seriousness of the matter. The Pentagon announcement comes days before Secretary of State Anthony Blinken is expected to travel to China. It's not clear if this will affect his travel plans, which the State Department has not formally announced. Oh, so it says Great Falls. So let's find Great Falls. Okay, so there's Great Falls right there. And that is the Canadian border. So this is where those nuclear silos at high in, in the mountains. And that's Canada. Uh, so this is an image. It says provided by the, U the US Air Force, a missile maintenance squadron technician works on an intercontinental ballistic missile during a simulated electronic launch Minuteman, Minuteman test on September 22nd, 2020 at a launch facility near Malmstrom Air Force Base in Great Falls, Montana. The US says it's tracking a suspected surveillance balloon spotted over US airspace. The U.S. is expanding, in, expanding its military presence in Asia in a string of moves aimed at countering Beijing and reassuring Indo-Pak allies that America will stand with them against threats from China and North Korea. The senior defense official said the U.S. did get fighter jets, including F-22s, ready to shoot down the balloon if ordered by the White House. <clears throat> interesting. Just so interesting, right? They're going to scatter if the White House says so, but they are pretty sure that it's Chinese balloon or anybody's balloon for that matter. It's going to let it fly around and spy. Who ever heard of such? The Pentagon ultimately recommended against it, noting that even as the balloon was over a sparsely populated area of Montana, its size would create a debris field large enough that it could have put people at risk. The official would not specify the size of the balloon, but said it was large enough that despite its high altitude, commercial pilots could see it. The official said that said what concerned them about this launch was the altitude the balloon was flying and the length of time it lingered over a location without providing specifics. So that's very interesting. So let me, share, let me share with you this and then I'm out. So this is from the Canadian government's website. It says military exercises with the China's people, People's Liberation Army. Why is the Canadian Army Forces engaging in military exercises and defense activities with the People's Liberation Army? Canada remains committed to being a reliable player in the Asia Pacific region through consistent engagement and strong partnerships. The Canadian Armed Forces have not engaged in bilateral training exercises with China in 2019 and 2020. In parallel with the whole of government review of Canada's approach to China, National Defense is currently reviewing its engagements with the Chinese military. Canada will continue to engage the Asia Pacific region in a manner that promotes peace and security around the world. It's peace and safety, peace and safety, peace and safety. When they say peace and safety, you know what comes next. If pressed on Canadian citizens detained in China, Canada remains deeply concerned by China's, China's actions, including the arbitrary detention and sentencing of Canadian citizens. <clears throat> so they don't really say anything else about this, but I'm gonna just say, I'm not gonna get into this 
subject for fear of censorship. I will just ask you to do your own research on this subject. Again, this was in 2021. It's 2023 and this is happening. How would China be able to get a balloon into Montana unless they were in Canada? Because it would have to come across a whole a bunch of other states to get to Montana. Probably would have been shot down because it probably would have went um, gone over other sensitive areas. But since it did not, I'm assuming that it had to come across the border from Canada, which makes me question our alliance with Canada and how trustworthy is Canada. At the end of the day, I'm just a Negro in America asking questions about what the Saxons are doing, because it seems like everybody is stabbing everybody in the back. Ain't nobody nobody's friends. And Black people need to understand this is the games that they play. We are in danger. Nobody cares. They are fighting. They're doing war games. And, you know, at the end of the day, white people are going to excuse away every little thing that you introduce to them until it's too late. So I'm presenting the information. Whoever wants to use it and look at it for what it is, cool. But we're in the midst of World War Three, And people who are, or nations, I keep saying people, I'm sorry, nations who are supposed to be our allies are acting like enemies or two-faced, double-minded, backstabbing. You know, if, if, if that was a friend of mine, they wouldn't be friends with me anymore, but I don't understand these national alliances and what they do, but this just goes to show you how you know, they create these problems, then they create solutions, and we just, you know, going along for the ride. We are paused in a game, being moved, and we don't have any control of the game. There is no win or lose for us. We either get taken or we stay on the board till we get another move or we get pushed someplace else. But at the end of the day, we're just pawns in a game. And this game right now is headed towards war. So I wanted to share with you, this is what is going on in the world right here in the United States. This is fresh hot off the press that there is a suspected Chinese balloon spotted in Montana right across the border coming likely from Canada, allegedly. They didn't say that, but where else would it come from? So, anywho, y'all take that news and do it what you will with it, but um, don't forget to like the video, share it, subscribe to the channel. Keep your eyes open and your heads on swivels. Prepare people, because when this thing blows, nobody's going to tell us nothing, and nothing is going to make sense. Nothing makes sense now. And it won't make sense later. So, anywho, this is Molly K. Y'all take care. And I'm out.